it's Jonah here once more and um, guess what I'm going to be doing a beer review for you haven't done one for a while um, but this beer is something a little bit special how about that Hepworth 10 it's called um, and it's meant to commemorate or celebrate it says 10 years of brewing by the Hepworth & Co brewery um, they're in Horsham down in Sussex not too far away from me um, my one here is bottle because they're all uh, limited edition special bottling this one's 209 I've got here um, limited edition of 3650 bottles pretty good yeah pretty clear let's see what it says on the back 10 is a fine pale ale and the apogee or apogee of the brewer's art so I guess that's the best thing um, it's brewed with Golding, Admiral and Challenger hops and Golden Malts um, to produce an, uh, an ale to savour and cherish it says well we'll see I have to say I have been saving this beer for a long time and um, been reading some of the reviews on the uh, Beer Advocate and uh, some of the other beer sites Beer Smith does that have is that the other one can't remember one of the one of the big ones anyway um, and a lot of people say that they were disappointed with it because it's meant to be the 10 year anniversary beer um, and they're saying it wasn't as good I have to say Hepworth I really like um, their Christmas ale oh my god they've changed the recipe lately um, and I haven't tried the new one but the old one oh my god it was one of the best ales I think it was it's either seven and a half or eight and a half percent and that's pretty good we're talking malt liquor sort of um, level here guys um, but it was beautiful very beautiful ale. so I'm expecting quite a lot of this guess what I've also got a Hepworth glass um, they had this thing a while ago where they had a, uh, a triple box and it had two beers on, on either side and it had the glass in the middle which I thought was quite funky okay let's go for an opening Ooh. the cap there's gold nothing on it not too much smoke not too much carbonation oh ho, ho, smells good okay let's go for a pour we'll go for a medium pour good thing about Hepworth is they uh, the shelf life of their beers is immense I think the Christmas one it says you can store it up to like five years or something it's outrageous and this I got in 2012 so last year so it should be okay uh, yeah slightly past the best date but hey I don't really care look at that very golden it's almost it's almost lagery quite good carbonation head staying there nice uh, pure white head uh, not cream mmm can smell some hops there definitely it's good for a beer I, I'm a firm believer that it's really good for brewers to put the hops on the bottle to actually name the ones they use maybe that's because I do homebrew too but I like to know what's in my beers very sweetish um, little bit little bit on the lager side to be honest anyway let's give it a go cheers to Hepworth down the hatch hopefully it's a good one oh a little bit of a lager taste but it's a lot deeper than that oh a little bit of smokiness in the malt there tiny bit of fruit at the end sort of citrusy fruit not sort of not your your generic cascade you know kind of hops mmm that's really nice uh, what's the percent six and a half percent guys you've done well I'm loving this stronger beers always good in my book Mm, 
slightly bitter on the mouth feel. Oh, there's a little bit. Now, if you do that, if you swirl it a little bit, it gets the hot feel, and that's definitely citrus fruits, definitely. Malt, malt wise, a little bit sort of like, kind of like a doughy kind of bread taste. Like if you have, if you have white bread, and you put it in the toaster with just butter on, and it dribbles down your chin. Oh, not like crumpets, definitely like a toast. Mm. I wouldn't say this is their best beer. The Christmas ale in my book is definitely the one. I haven't seen it that much this year, to be honest. Oh, lovely, lovely. But Hepworth, salute to you guys. You obviously know what you're doing. You're reasonably local to me. You're doing something slightly different with the stronger beers. Um, I can't fault you for that. I don't know why people didn't give it that good mark because I quite like that. have to say in my book, Christmas Hell is definitely my number one choice. Um, but that's pretty good. Nice and bitter, quite clean, crisp. More flavour than a generic lager. What more can I say? You've done well there, boys. Hopefully there'll be some more reviews to come uh, in 2013. Hope you enjoyed this one. I don't, think you can, I don't think you can get this anymore. If you can, it's one to try, definitely. Guys, see you later.